Ați venit? Suntem la conferința de presă înaintea meciului cu Poli Iași de mâine seară. Alături de noi, domnul Elia Saralambu, îl rog să vorbească despre joc, după care vă stă la dispoziție pentru întrebări. Bună seara! Back to the championship again. Um, you know, in this league, uh, there is no easy game uh, unless we ourselves make the games uh, how we want. And uh, tomorrow it's a game that we really want to win, to gain uh, points in the championship, and we will make our best in order to take the three points. That is the target. A little bit pressure, or the players are feeling a little bit pressure, more pressure now because they are only have five points in the championship. Uh, it's not about the five points, you know. If you are in, the, I said it many times, FCSB, you have to have a pressure every day. These kind of teams, and especially our team that is the biggest club in Romania, for sure, uh, there is pressure every day. No matter if you have ten, five, or four points, it doesn't matter. The big clubs must have pressure and we have to live with pressure every day. How are they now after the defeat? Okay, it was a game, you know, and uh, nobody guaranteed that we are going to pass uh, from uh, Sparta. The boys uh, gave the best. Uh, uh, this is the football. There are three results. Now there were two results, or to pass or not to pass. We didn't manage to pass, so we have to continue the next day. And uh, we never give up. This is the life. And uh, we are, uh, the boys are uh, positive and we have to continue working every day for our next target. Um, oh yes, FCSB is a big favorite. Big favorite, for sure. We play home. Um, and uh, I, I told you before the game that favorites are on the papers, but uh, favorites must be shown in the pitch. And uh, the only thing that uh, we can do is to do our best performance in order to show that we are real the favorite for tomorrow's game. This is it. Uh, before the game, uh, anyone can be favorite, but we have to show it in the pitch. Tomorrow, Tanase, Tavi Popescu and Panzeru are in the squad. Tanase, Tavi Popescu, yes. And Panzeru and Pandea. Pandea is fully recovered. He will be back like... Yeah, so all of them, yeah, they recover. The only problems that we have is Luis Felipe and Musi and Toma. Uh, who are you going to uh, use the under-21? We will see tomorrow. We have another training in the afternoon, so we have to finish, first of all, the training in the afternoon to see that everybody is okay, and we will decide who will start tomorrow. But Tanase is ready. It's important for the team that he is here. Yes, for sure. Tanase, um, it's a um, big personality. It's very important that he is uh, back in the team. And uh, I'm sure that uh, he will help us uh, in the future. For sure, he is not 100% now. Uh, but he will be with us. And for I believe that he can have some minutes tomorrow. We'll see according to the game. Uh, but I repeat, he's not 100%. He didn't have any friendly games. Uh, he didn't have any games. And uh, I'm sure that he will be ready soon in order to help us. Your owner said that uh, Mikulescu is not going to play as an uh, attacker. What do you think about this? It's okay for him to give an opinion of uh, the position of the player? We spoke about these uh, things many times. You know, the owner is the boss of the club and he can say for me whatever he wants. Uh, he, I'm not here to judge the owner or to say if the owner did uh, good or bad when he said these kind of things. And uh, I, I said it many times that he's the owner, he's the boss, so he has the freedom to say whatever he wants and whatever he feels. Where do you think is the best position for Mikules? I, I told you many times that, uh, thanks God, we have many players in front that they can uh, play in all positions. If you see Migulescu, he can play all three positions up front. Baluza, the same. Olaru, if needed, the same. Stefanescu, uh, the same. Uh, you know, Popa, last year in Uclus, he played also left. So it doesn't, it doesn't mean that one striker has the stamp of uh, one, I mean, attacking player has a stamp that he's a striker or he's a left winger or right winger. And the, the kind of, also Danase, the, their style is not like uh, nine or a winger. They can play up front in all positions. So 
I don't like to say like one player is a striker and this is his position. The way the players that we have can fit in all positions up front. The coach of Poliash said uh, his team is uh, Santa Claus until now because uh, they give uh, give some uh, so many uh, gifts. Um, do you hope Santa Claus will come to ah, okay. FTSB tomorrow? <laughs> okay, nice statement for the from the coach of uh, Yash, and um, for sure each coach uh, sees his side, his team, and. Um, I don't know what to say. I mean about uh, this, and uh, we don't want any presence. We want our team to play football and win the games. How does Stefanescu and Alexandro feel now after they've been criticized by the owner? Do you speak with them? And okay, it's um, they they are here long time. Uh, okay, especially Alexandro and Steph is here. So uh, in in our team, I said it before, you have to live under pressure, and. Uh, this is why we are a big team, because if you cannot live under pressure, it means that you cannot be in a big team. And these boys show that they can live under pressure and uh, they can handle it. And this is the way. The owner said that Olaru will live after uh, the two games with Linz. Uh, a bit last for you. Do you speak with him? I, do, I, don't, I don't know. I don't have uh, any, uh, I mean, um, information uh, about uh, Oli. I also heard some rumors, but you know, rumors are rumors. And uh, you know, from my side, uh, I always say that if players have the possibility to make a transfer to go in a higher level, it's um, for, everybody go for everybody good for sure. For uh, the players, for the, the Romanian football, for sure if a player like Olaru leaves, it would be a loss for us, for sure, because he's a uh, for me, one of the top players in the league, and uh, but this is the life of football, you know, and this is how the players have to see the game. They have to have dreams. They have to dream to go higher and higher all the time. So this is it. Olaro at PSV. How sounds? Yeah. I mean, you mean if he can fit in yeah, PSV? Yeah. Okay, these are only rumors, guys. You. He, for me, I repeat, Olaru is a top, uh, top player uh, that he has all the skills to play in a higher level. And um, I hope for him one day, for sure he will cost for us if he leaves, but I hope for Oli personally one day to make his dream and to play in higher level than here. That's all. Do you have any options if Olaru is going to leave the team? I think it's not the moment now. Let's see first if he will leave because, you know, it's, um, it's only rumors by the moment. But if this happens, for sure, we'll find solutions because we are here to find solutions all the time. Do you need another striker? I'm happy. I'm happy for the squad. Now we have Tanase also in the club. So we have uh, many players up front because I told you before that I don't stand players like strikers or wingers. So. I'm happy with the squad that I have at the moment. Are you afraid that the players will uh, think at the match against uh, Las Glins? I think they have uh, lots of experience. Uh, we showed, uh, we always already started the championship. We played every three, four games, so they know very well that uh, each game that we have, the next is the most important. And um, I believe, no, I'm not afraid. And uh, they are very, very clever to understand the situation that all the, all the games are very important, and especially the next game. Tomorrow is the most important. Then we have days to see the next game with Lask. You're going to make a lot of changes for the game tomorrow? It's a bit different this week because um, before in Champions League, you played Tuesday. So now you play Thursday. You have two days and you know two days in football is many days so um, we have many days to recover so maybe we will not see many changes tomorrow okay thank you thank you